by. What do you say we go to the top five? Let's do it. Everybody's been waiting for it. Let's drum it. Top five. Here we go. Marlboro County and Conway. Jermaine Martin. Oh, yeah. We talked about him earlier. Taking the reverse and taking it to the house. Here's the big thing. He's not coming down. He is not going down. He finds the end zone. Give him the six. He had a monster game. How Boy, big? I don't know. He made 188 yards rushing and two touchdowns. He got the game clincher also in the fourth quarter on a similar run. But look at the blocking. He gets to the corner, and that kid has some speed. And uh, he turns that Marlboro defender into a, a, a rodeo cowboy. Yeah, he looked like he was trying to grab his Look at him, there. and you he's the bull. He, he is. 35 to 29, Conway gets their first win this season, beating Marlboro 35-29. Yes, here we go. Number four, Darlington and Dillon. It's Avery McCall rolling out and finding his own man, Arion Hayes, at the pylon. You talk about catching it, getting two feet in, not just one, but both feet in. That's NFL style right there. Check it out again. Let's slow it down. That is pretty. Mm. Diving touchdown. Mark, that's why this kid right here is an absolute stud. D1. Everybody wants him. Dylan 36-7 over Darlington. Play number three. We're going to Lamar at Lakeview. Take it away, Mark. Lakeview on a counter play. That's Rico Brown, one of my favorite players. Around the right side, look at him. Turn on the Jets for a touchdown. Brown, five carries for 88 yards and a touchdown. But Lamar won the game 28-27. Lakeview missed one of their extra points. Hmm. Just a oh. beautiful run as you slow it down. Great in open space, breaks a tackle there, and then stiff he arm. does the you rest. See the stiff arm? Oh, yeah. All right, That's Rico. That's what Rico does. That's what Rico does. He's suave. I'm sure he's heard that before. It's mm, an old joke. You just got to throw it out there. Number two. Number two, Myrtle Beach at Carolina Forest. We knew how this game played out last year. How would it this year? Straight yeah. drop. Drake, Drake Arnold. Arnold. Who's he going to hit, Mark? That's going to be Malik Waring. Yes, and check out this, too. We talked about Hayes's. Play, right. But he gets two feet down. Over the shoulder, slow it down. He had to kind of go up high for yeah, that he one. He did. But he had to throw it high. The he defender did. had its back turned, but that's wearing just running a great route. He had two touchdowns in the first. 52 35, Myrtle Beach over Carolina Forest. Number one, Fort Mill at West Flow. It's Bowman Hiller taking it to the air show. Tyrell Dixon making the catch between. Two defenders, not one, but two, and then taking it to the house after that. That might be one of the best plays I've seen all year long. I'm going to put in a top two. Oh, he kind of reminds me of Brandon Bostick, one of the I great West Floyd. Oh, yeah. Remember that guy? There's Hiller again. He's the backup quarterback to Mark Juan Goodman. But look at him split the defenders here. That's what made the play great. But West Florence fell short. Fort Mill won the game 21-17, but a great catch by Tyrell Dixon. Bowman Hiller hanging in there for West Florence, doing a nice job at quarterback for the Knights. But, again, they came up short tonight. There's your top five. Bowman's doing a fantastic job. Hats off to that young man coming in in stressful situation, taking over a team, especially when you know you have a quarterback that's uh, a franchise-type guy that you could ride for the rest of the season. He goes out. Coach says, you know what? It's your turn. He's filled in nicely. Boy, another big week. Chuck Jordan and the Conway Tigers get their first win this season. I think they got their mojo back. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Hartsville is Hartsville. Gee, many Christmas. And Dylan made easy work of what many people considered the game of the week. They uh, they ran all over uh, Darlington. Yeah, I was kind of surprised at that. I saw the score kind of going up. and But Dylan, they flexed their muscles and they showed uh, why they're number one in the state and why they're defending state champions. Darlington's still a quality and, and team. Darlington, nothing yeah. to hold your head about. Uh, fantastic. They still got a lot of football left. Brian Rivers, injury, got his knee. We talked about that earlier in the show. It'll be interesting to see what happens with him because they're a different ball club with him out of the mix. But they do have a bye next week. That's going to help him a little bit. But if it's an MRI or something like that he needs to take for the knee century, it'll be interesting. And then, of course, uh, Johnsonville had an early 9 nothing lead on Hemingway. Hemingway rallied for two late touchdowns and won 14-9. Hemingway and Andrews, winner next week, comes live to the end zone. How about that? It is, and Hemingway undefeated on the season, so they could be coming into the end zone studio unblemished on the year. And one quick note, uh, late-breaking story, Jameis Winston, the Florida State quarterback, has been declared out completely Whoa. of the Clemson game. Really? He will not play at all for Florida State in the, uh, the Saturday night game on this station at 8 o'clock. Uh, he has been uh, mm. suspended for that I, game. I tell you, hats off to Jimbo because he was taking a lot of heat for that. And this is what he should have done originally was he should have set him the entire game because of this, especially considering what he's done in the past. 
just kind of adds up more to it. So, so no yeah, Heisman so. Trophy winner, no Jameis Winston against Clemson. Clemson uh, has a great chance they to do. make some hay they do. Uh, tomorrow night. They do, and as Mark said, you can see it only right here on News Channel 15. So, all right, buddy. Am I Week dismissed? Four, you're dismissed. Week four in the books.